what is happening in our residential real estate market. There's a lot of talk in the media, but let's skip through all the smoke and we'll talk numbers. I'm Merrick, and this is the Movement Report for Abbotsford for the month of December, 2023. Let's jump in. Abbotsford saw 134 sales in all property types in the month of November. So we're talking townhouses, apartments, and houses. All of them combined, 134 sales. And that is down 34% from the 10-year average of 204. So well, well below the regular numbers for our market. Sitting at 703 active listings, which is 16% below the 10-year average. 237 new listings, which is 7% below the 10-year average. So there's not a lot of inventory coming into the market. And we'll jump into the, the nuances of what's selling and what's not selling. So in Abbotsford right now, the average home is sitting at $1.16 million, down $85,000 from its high this year in July. So it's a 6.8% slide on your average home in Abbotsford. The sales to active ratio on homes is about 13%, so we're sitting in a balanced market. Townhouses sitting at $648,000, uh, slid a little bit from the September high of $654,000 or, uh, you know, almost 1%, uh, sales to active ratio of 31%. So what we're seeing here is houses sliding in price because people can't afford that mortgage. And we're seeing the turnover in townhouses because it's a cheaper entry point for people to purchase. Similar with apartments. So apartments were sitting at $452,000 in August, and they've only slid 2% instead of the houses, which slid almost seven, and they're down $10,000, and they're sitting at $442,000, still a 30% sales to active ratio. So townhouses and condos still in a buyer's market, and houses are in a balanced market tipping towards a buyer's market for houses. So that's what's happening. Those are the numbers. Um, I'm going to go on a limb here and speculate that the interest rates aren't going to go down probably until April, May of next year, if at all. And we'll see what happens in March as far as the market coming back. But we'll have kind of a slow winter, like we always do, December and January. And we'll see what happens in February and March if the market picks up right away. I know the Bank of Canada is waiting to see what's happening as far as the rebound in spring. And that will tell how soon they reduce rates, if at all. Um, I'm speculating that they will reduce rates in April, but hard to say. So if you are looking to upsize your home, like you're going from a townhouse into a house, it's a good time to buy. If you are looking to downsize, wait and see what happens. Housing prices should come back a little bit in spring, and that would be a better time to downsize. Anyways, I'm Merrick. If you have any questions or comments, reach out. Happy to help.